So today I thought I would take a peek in the back of my two power supplies. Now as you can see by the by the sizes they're completely different power supplies. Um, they're both not 30 volts and they're both not 10 amps. This one has two channels. Three if you include this this is a complete. This has got its own bridge rectifier going to this from the tap off the transformer, and so even though it's fixed, uh, five volt, three amps. For some reason, I think I read that it's five volt, five amps, but never mind. Five volt, three amps, as that's what it um, as that's what it indicates there. I think there can be some sort of adjustment put on there. Anyway. So, so really, from the outside, apart from this one only having a single output channel, they're pretty much the same thing. They've both got light up displays. This one has the ability to switch to parallel mode or serial, so I can go in parallel, I can go 0 to 30 volts, 0 to 10 amps. In serial, not 60 volts, not 5 amps, or as it just sits by itself, as it is standard at the moment without being in parallel or serial, it's not to um, 30 volts, not 5 amps. Where this one doesn't have the serial parallel, it only has one output, um, and it's just not 30 volts, not to 10 amps. The, um, as you can see from the size of the casing, one of these power supplies is considerably larger than the other. But let's take a peek inside. Da da! Okay, now this is where the differences really start taking, taking effect. This is the inside, of course, of the smaller. 0 to 30, 0 to 10 amps. And one of the things that you may notice in here, when you compare it to this one, is that there is no transformer in here. I mean, there's this little thing here. But if you compare it to one, two of these beasties, now that's um, that's a big difference on what's on the inside of these, and also, and that would reflect on the sheer fact that the weight of this is so light, uh, you know, you could probably carry it around with you all day without it even bothering you but there's a lot of people probably wouldn't even be able to pick this thing up this weighs 13 kilos 13 kilos and that's quite heavy but this probably this probably weighs a little over a kilo there's a big big difference between these two power supplies a big big difference At the minute, this one is faulty. If I press it onto parallel mode, if I press it onto serial mode, it shows up as a dead short. Um, and it's actually been returned tomorrow. The only reason the back's off it now, and I don't know why that coffee stain's there, maybe when it was being put together. It's probably not a coffee stain, it's probably some sort of oil. Um, but the uh, the company that sold me this last night asked me to. Uh, they said, "Look, if you want to, you can take the back off and have a little tap around at the relays in case it's something to do with the relay that's a problem." Um, and I did. You know, now you can see there's a couple of marks on there where I give it a bit of a, a whack with a screwdriver. Um, but the relays seem to work okay. 
the, the, it's a short, it has a short, so I have a funny feeling, even though you can't see anything with this camera. Uh, there's got two big fans in the back here. You've got this little fan here, um, which I could actually swap out with a silent one, even though this isn't particularly noisy at all, this unit, and it stays pretty cool. Um, I was running this um, around about 8 9 amps yesterday for a good couple of hours um, with a Jacob's ladder. Um, like I say, like peaking about 9 amps um, at the 30 volts, and it was fine, absolutely fine. I, I don't know. You see that earth strut? Then you can see it, there it is. I mean, these are the things, aren't they? These are, these, these are the things that, um, it's safety, safety first, I've always said. Safety first, and at least they're nice, uh, they're nice cheap MOSFETs. I've already written down what they are, and I've looked them up. I can get, like, five of them for two and a half pounds. If I order from China, yeah. On a slow boat from China, it could take a few. Up to a few weeks to get here, or even longer. Um, but it looks like a lot of the parts in this. This would be quite easy to to repair, and it hasn't had a sort of repair because at one stage this thing was only giving out five volts. I don't know why it did that, but after I gave it a bit of a talking to, and a little shake, that, that that seemed to stop. I don't know. Maybe I think maybe possibly just a loose connection. I really don't know. But I'm quite happy that it doesn't do that anymore. Um, this one, however, because it's... I mean, they're, they're both new. This is only a couple of months old. This is only... This is only weeks old. Um, but in the last three months, I managed to get through three power supplies. Now, you can't be anything to do with what I'm doing, because I do just what normal people do. Apart from I did play with some high voltage. Um, what? I'm just looking in the bottom, just down here at this, this transistor. Just wondering, just wondering what that is. I can't actually get in there to see that. I've spoken to the company today because they're picking this one up tomorrow and they're dropping off another one with me tomorrow and they're also going to let me have a schematic because I do believe I can... One of the things that I, I miss on this power supply to my last power supply is the output button where you could just press the output button, you could set it all up, your ampage, your voltage, what you wanted but you hadn't got any output yet you got power on but you hadn't got any output and then you just press the output button and you get the, the power out and I really do miss that, um, but I think I can actually, you know, I can make either an external switch or think about having some sort of, uh, think about making some sort of soft latch uh, power button using a MOSFET uh, just as the, the, the gate so I can just soft switch on and off um, which would then allow, allow me to have that output but I'll, I'd have to do some reading up, and I know Davy Jones on the EV blog. He's um, he's done one that's where I thought, oh, maybe I can actually copy that and see how that goes, and get some advice from the forum there. So I might be able to sort that out. Um, and there's also the downside to this: you can't set the ampage constant current as you're using it. You have to take off your load, short it out, set your constant current and go again. Which, meh, in a 200 pound big old power supply that, like this, I think that's a bit naff. I think that's, you know, that's a bit naff. When you, you know, when you can get uh, 50 pounds you can buy a programmable Okay, not to 3 amp non linear switch mode. Uh, a programmable, even though the one that I had was a 10 ma, I can't remember what it is, but it had loads of buttons on the front, it had the soft function for output, 
and that was heavy and so there was a big transformer in there but I never took it apart um, they had that back uh, and refunded me because they were quite difficult they were quite hard to work with uh, what actually happened on that display uh, on that power supply was the display failed and I don't think they appreciated that you can't really use a bench power supply unless you know the power output and okay you can jump a a, a voltmeter across it but eh, when you buy a power supply and it has the display in that built in you want it to work and especially if it's only a couple of months old when it goes wrong um, then you know then you um, then you really do you really do want it sorting out want it to work the displays work okay on these I do notice when I'm playing with high <coughs> high frequency or circuits that put out, uh, coil inductor circuits that put out uh, high frequency the, if I put my hands near it the displays tend to mess up a little bit uh, this one's not as bad as this one and they're both not as bad as the previous power supply but I got a funny feeling I don't know quite how I'd fit it but I was wondering if I could shield out the insides and make them a bit more robust against interference I can probably do it to this one quite easily in actual fact I'll experiment I've got some tin and I shall put some in here I'll insulate up, I'll fit it oh, you can't see I'll insulate it up and I'll fit some tin um, across here and see if that actually shields any of the interference and that'll be pretty good if it does anyway <clears throat> I've also seen on the internet where you can there's a feather out there and that's one of the things I do like about this see those multi-turn pots um, where there's a feather actually made a constant current board upgrade that you can fit into this just a couple of a few cables have to connect to here it's a little board that fits across the top of here, top of here. and then you can adjust your constant current on the fly which is that would make this a much better supply. I, you know, I got the offer to be refunded, but I decided that I was going to keep the supply because look at the size of these transformers. You know, that's um, that's that's enough to give out a bit of a I can't remember what they call it. I heard somebody say it once, like a geek orgasm or something. A gorgasm. A geek or a geek. I don't know. I don't know. But they're uh, big old transformers, and you know, I think there's quite a lot of promise in this. I think I can swap out these these noisy fans here and put brushless ones in. They only kick in when the temperature gets above 60 degrees. Um, so on low low current drawing things, they don't even, they don't even power up. Uh, so it's nice and quiet. But when they do kick in, it's noisier than anything else that I have in here. So I, I'd like to be able to swap these out. So I, this is why I asked for the schematic. So I can just check the, um, not only just the voltage, but the the uh, the milliamp draw uh, to match them with brushless exactly in case there's some sort of sensor on the board that says, hey, if this doesn't work or if, it doesn't, if it seems to be malfunctioning by not drawing the right amount or by drawing too much, uh, and then it won't work. Well, that's not going to be very good, but a quick check on the schematics can make me sure that I won't have the problem there. But anyway, so there's the inside of the... Uh, these, uh, I do believe that these, these, the, these are not just made for circuit specialists. I am pretty sure that I've seen the insides of one of these before on a different brand name. Uh, because when I opened it up it looked quite familiar and I'd seen a tear down of one of these single 5 amps um, and it seemed like it, it did okay it did okay considering it comes out of China and not everything that comes out of China is that great or that safe but it's got like a springy type washer there to make sure this earth and stays there it's got heat shielding um, I would like a bit of Fatter earth cable, but um, it's got a heat shielding. Like I said, it's got those big boy transformers. 
and you know, you know, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I would like maybe to have had screw on terminals here. Only because, okay, it's great that you can pl plug your banana plugs in, but you can also take these off and do pretty much the same thing with that. And what this does is take away the ability just to put a wire in there and just screw it in quick. But you do have these that you can take off and faff around with, even though I don't like those at all. I prefer to keep that just covered up out of the way. I don't like that, that there, there. Um, unless you've got something that this is just used for that pretty much and you're going to just pretty much hardwire them in there um, but, but you know I do like these maybe a bit old, a bit old fashioned like that I do like that and I do like the ability to you know control the current as I'm using it uh, where this one does make that harder you can do the constant current there but it seems to take away you can it stops everything and then you adjust and you're back on again and yeah but never mind you know it's it's 200 pounds and you're not going to get absolute perfection for that I was a bit annoyed with these as well so a bit they made that bit of noise it just makes me feel a bit cheap but I noticed yesterday I could pull that off and I can I can adjust this pull it out slightly um, and that will stop that which is quite good I did try just pulling on them, but since this came off, I, I noticed there was that nut there, which will make that life a little bit easier. So, yeah. You know, it's not a review as such. It's not a teardown. It's not anything. It's just me looking in the back of these things. Um, and you get to see a little bit. What are you going to get for your money? This is... Um, this cost £62. I bought this for £62 off eBay. It went wrong. They gave me a £50, uh, sorry, a 50% refund. Where I get to keep the uh, the power supply and get it repaired. But I managed to get this then for, you know, around about £32. 10 amp power supply, £32. Come on. It's variable. It works, it does what I want it to, um, and it's not particularly noisy or anything like that. It's not particularly noisy. This one, £200. Okay, so you know, I've had a couple of issues in there, but there are some definitely better components in here. Um, nice surface mount. It's not all surface mount, it was advertised as it's all modular and surface mount, but as you can see there's some big lumpy bits all over the place here, but there are some surface mount areas. Uh, I think marketing just got a bit overexcited with the surface mount, so I'm trying to suggest it was all surface mount. There's a nice big clunky on-off switch, which, which I really do like. This, this here. Like I say, look at the look at the size of those transformers. They're quite big. This is covering up, but they're quite big. There's a, there's a lot of iron there. A lot of iron. I bet you could probably squeeze a few extra, a few extra uh, currents out of this if you did a few mods here and there. Not quite sure about that just yet, but I've got a funny feeling. Me and this power supply are going to have a long-lasting relationship. Uh, it's going to have some mod done to it over the period of time or over the course of time I should say but anyway that's it I've rambled on um, <clears throat> two, two 10 amp power supplies completely different families they come from and there's a the difference between switch mode and a linear. Okay then. Thanks for watching. Bye.